So here we are at my next project. This kind of right here is the property line, maybe. I've just learned about some question marks about that. Got some garden beds out here. There's a dumpster over here. This is the property. It's in the back wall here. Don't know exactly what the purpose of it is. Maybe it was a shed at one point. Comes with a swimming pool, so who wouldn't like that? Now this, there is a, there was a toilet and a shower in here. So this had, this had plumbing, it actually had its own electrical panel box though. What year did your uh, parents buy this place? Uh, oh, four. Okay. How you doing, man? I'm good. There's one of my cards. All this stuff will be special. We're going to get all this stuff ready. Cool. Make it easier for us. <laughs> He's trying to. Well, it could be a pretty cool backyard. Well, it's a big house, that's for sure. How many square feet is it? Anybody know? I think according to Zillow, 3390. Okay. They're usually pretty good on the square footage. All right. I got to go in the side door. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. There it goes. What? This was originally being used as an in-law suite. So utility room back there is what that was. Everything was kind of put back to where it was at. Good man's cave. Good man, yeah, pretty much. Need a place to fix things. This is a good place. I said this had a full kitchen down here once you got the house. Okay. This is a family room. So this is where the bedroom, the bedroom was, and TV and all that. There's a bathroom right there. I can turn the light on for you. I got it. So it was like uh, a master bedroom bathroom here. Uh, this is like I said. This is a. This is how it was when she got it. Uh -huh. So it was, I guess their version of an in-law uh, mother or in-law suite for the. What year did they? Came. What year did they buy it? Uh, 2004, she got it. Okay. So, like I said, this is all how this sorry setup was this. So, this is like the way they boxed off that man cave? Well, that's what my father did. Right. Sunroom, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's an interesting house, I'll say that. It is, like I said, it's a huge house. I mean, it has a hell of a lot of possibilities. Well, I'm assuming I talked to you originally. Actually, you talked to my business partner, Shane. Yes, I, I told my wife I wanted to, I'll put the money in the house fix it up, but she doesn't want to use it as a vacation house. Yeah, I read that in the, the notes that... Uh, and think, that's so a, that's a den... I think this used to originally be the garage was over here. Whoever owned this house beforehand, uh, what's on, what's on the floor? Well, whoever owned this house beforehand used to do marble. So, so he probably just put this down because he was gonna put all marble. Marble. Yeah, it looks like they riveted it. It's like wonder board. Is that what it is? I cement. Know. It's cement board. Uh, like I said, I'm assuming he was putting all granite or marble down on the floors. Kind of thing you would, kind of thing you would put down if you were going to ceramic tile or maybe marble. Well, he, he, yeah. was a, he owned a marble company. Right, right. That's so he was going to put that all down in here. 
Okay. At least that's what I kind of gathered. This would be the living room. And you know, a little entranceway over there. That's where the kitchen kitchen was. And that would be the bathroom right there. So that's the bathroom over there. You got the plumbing's good. When's the last time anybody's lived here? <laughs> uh, I think my father died 14 years ago. No one's lived here that long? No. She took everything out of storage and this is where it ended up. Now, in this room, there actually is plumbing in here also. Okay. There is some plumbing to go over here, actually, right. over in that back corner. I know there was pipes in the ground or cement down here. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what kind of pl uh, plumbing it was, but I know there was a, a sink in here. Okay. Then you got the dining room, which nowadays we use as in. We use it on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. And this room, I just think, is the complete biggest waste ever. Well, maybe it can be reworked somehow. Yeah, I'll have to heat the room myself and get rid of that thing out of here. What everybody does these days is open it up, you know? Well, it's not even that. This is a bedroom. I mean, it really is. That's what this is? Well, they had this in here with a washer and dryer in here. Hmm. I mean, do you need a, little, or a room that big for washing or washing your clothes? No, I'd say I mean, no. I'm saying this is a bedroom. It could be. It's big enough. I mean, me personally, I would just build a closet, put a washer and dryer right here, and open this wall up and have it open into the, the living room with a car. So this is the front door. Yeah. I don't think everyone's ever heard actually even come in through that door. A little coat closet, I guess. Glass block. Like I say, it's an interesting house. I think the fireplace actually goes through on both sides. Well, we're going to make it two different fireplaces. I know that's one part of it. And, okay, yeah, it's two. So you got the one side there and the one side there. Okay. Yeah, I need a tour guide at this house. <laughs> Usually I just work my way no, through. Up here, but... up here has no electric. Because this was the all electric which ran all the way over to the fuse panel box that was on that side. So that was all taken off and never rewired in. Huh. Sure ran a suction cord up. So I was about to say I was a liar, but... And there is a closet right back there, which is completely cedar, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I say if I'm not mistaken. It's a nice size bedroom, though. Oh, yeah. Both I mean, these bedrooms are huge up here. Yeah. And then you got the bathroom, which is, I think, first is huge as hell, too. Obviously, it needs a roof. Right. It's a big bathroom. Yeah, it is. You could probably get a third bedroom up here. Cut down on the size of the bedrooms or bathrooms. Because you got the door right there, which there's a closet in here, right there. And another bathroom all the way in here. I'll just move out of your way. Okay. Yeah, it's a little strange, but that doesn't mean it couldn't be a nice house. Oh, no. It, I mean, it definitely be a gorgeous house. Right. I mean, hell, you even probably rip off that half the roof and go on top of that. Maybe. So how many bedrooms is it total? Uh, three. Well... <sighs> three up here. Well, this would be two up here. Two up here. This is two up here, one down there, then you have the in-law suite. Okay. So I have no idea how the... I know what you mean. It's confusing, yeah. but we'll figure it out. 
And then you got that back room, which could be made into a bedroom, which would make it a four bedroom house or a five bedroom. Okay. But so. the whole house is center block, except for the top half is brick. This part up is brick. I was able to see that through the crack up here. Yeah, you can see the brick right there. Yeah. All right. Hell, you can even make this almost into a uh, up there into apartments and put a door right, right in right there. Well, uh, I'm sure the zoning one let you do that, but if um, you could get away with it, I'd do it. I don't know about that. You probably could. All right. This is uh, there's a lot of uh, people that come here for the summer to work on the farms. To work on the farms. All right, I'm just gonna walk around outside and film the outside of the house. Thanks for the tour. <laughs> Crazy tour, I know. Yeah, it's you know. I mean, I was it was helpful. Well, it was helpful. I would have been a little confused without your assistance. Thanks.